The Harp Conspiracy Harp or High Frequency Active Aurora Research is the name of a government project that was presented to the public as a research program on radio waves. It was operated jointly by the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy and the University of Alaska to study the ionosphere in an effort to develop radio communication technology. However, many believe that the program was designed to do more than just that. Popular conspiracy theories abound of the facility's real purpose which, according to theorists, is to develop a weapon using amplified radio waves. The program was widely believed by theorists to be the reason for a number of major global disasters that have occurred in recent years, particularly the crash of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 and the 2011 Japan earthquake. The Harp Facility the Harp facility is located in Alaska, covering 13 hectares of remote terrain. A large part of the research facility is covered by high-frequency antennas that are capable of sending up to 3.6 megawatt signals up into the ionosphere in order to cause a disturbance which are then observed and recorded. The program cost the government $30 million to put up and it costs $5 million a year to maintain. Harp Conspiracy Theories there are many conspiracy theories blaming HARP for various calamities and disasters that are proposed not only by conspiracy theorists but also by notable world leaders such as former Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. The European Union has also expressed its concern about the true nature of the project and encouraged the formation of an independent regulatory body to look into the program. However, the U.S. refused to cooperate and stood by their word that the program was harmless, which ultimately added fuel to countless harp conspiracy theories. Main Theory The main theory lies on the effects of energy waves from the facility antennae which are directed to the ionosphere. Conspiracy theorists believe that these rays are then reflected back into the Earth on a very low frequency called DLF waves, which have serious effects on the Earth's magnetic fields as well as on human thoughts and emotions. They believe that ELF waves can cause rapid heating of the Earth's atmosphere, change wind patterns and can be used to alter moods and brainwash entire populations. These waves are also strong enough to affect the tectonic movement of plates, which is why the program was blamed for floods, earthquakes, air crashes, and other global disasters that happened since its inception. The most recent tragedy that theorists blame on HARP was the fatal crash of Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. The fact that no trace of the plane or bodies of the passengers were ever found further fuels the mystery. Many believe that the plane may have gone off course because its radar systems were affected by the radio waves being emitted by harp antennae. Strange natural disasters and the intensity in which storms, typhoons and earthquakes are occurring are also being attributed to harp. The 2011 Japan earthquake which was apparently accompanied by a sudden and unexplained rapid heating of the ionosphere directly above the epicenter of the quake is leading theorists to believe that HARP may have been responsible for the quake and the ensuing tsunami that occurred. Manipulation of Human Thought and Emotions The project has also been believed to have developed the technology to affect human thought and emotion. Theorists believe that the program was successful in identifying emotion signature clusters in ink signals and frequencies which were then stored in computers. When needed, they are placed on silent sound carrier frequencies that could trigger the occurrence of the emotion carried in that frequency in another human being anywhere else in the world. Of course, HARP personnel are adamant about telling the public that there is nothing top secret or classified about their activities. Before the official website for the project was closed down in 2013, its spokesperson reiterated that there was no secret research going on in the facility. Others are also skeptical at how conspiracy theorists seem to blame everything on the project, no matter how implausible these may sound. The U.S. Air Force notified Congress in 2014 that they are shutting down the Alaska facility after 21 years of operation. The shutdown is reportedly due to budget cuts and the fact that they no longer find any useful purpose for the project. However, 
A number of universities are interested in utilizing the property for research since it is still fully operational. Although many still believe that the program conducted studies that were perhaps too sensitive to divulge to the public, its termination may just cause a few of these theories to die down.